showers and storms quite early in the day on Wednesday affecting southeast Queensland, northeastern coast of New South Wales. This is the clay. You can see those showers and storm clouds moving in through there. Now around the Kempsey region, we actually have rainfall rates over 6 millimeters in just 10 minutes time during the early afternoon with showers and storms, but rainfall rates were so much higher in southeast Queensland after 9 a.m. local time. So that means we had not a lot of totals to 9 a.m., but just after we had rainfall rates in excess of 60 millimeters in an hour's time, and uh, oh, in fact, over 100 millimeters to some location in just around four hours' time. To 9 a.m., Brisbane collected 16 millimeters, the Sunshine Coast 14 millimeters through there. But then throughout the day, we really started to see those totals begin to ramp up uh, in its entirety. Across the nation over the last seven days, you can see the rainfall map on screen. Most of the rain has fallen in the form of showers and thunderstorms. Now, because of that, it's patchy totals. You can see the map very splotchy on screen, and that's because of those showers and storms dropping isolated, heavy totals of rain. A month's worth of rain fell in worse than New South Wales to some locations, such as uh, the Broken Hill area, just was just due to thunderstorms. We also had some showers and storms across the Air Peninsula region, and also around that Port Piri, Wyala area, and down in Tasmania, also collecting some showers and storms in the bucket as well. The most active area, of course, over the northern tropics of Australia. No surprise there. And we also had a few showers and the odd storm across uh, the gold fields, also parts of the Great Southern and in the Esperance region, and that was earlier this week. Let's take a look at what the forecast heralds. We've got a big rain event on the way. Now showers continuing for the Queensland coastline. They'll just get heavier and heavier really throughout the week. And then we have a big trough with a front moving through the southeast, bringing widespread rain. It's because we have two air masses combining together, a tropical type air mass and a drier, cooler air mass from the south, and that is producing heavy, heavy rain in the atmosphere. It looks like like we'll see a tropical low as well later in the week start to affect the northwest shelf of Australia, but it's not going to be at cyclonic strength. Now, that rain is going to continue for large parts of the eastern seaboard into next week, so that is a large rain event there. Let's take a look at what's going to be happening. We'll break it down day by day. Now, for the Queensland coastline, you're going to be having these easterly winds. It's very humid, and it's supported by the presence of a coastal trough and cooler air in the upper atmosphere. That means the air can rise up to high levels in the atmosphere. You get a very saturated profile of the atmosphere in that sort of situation. And then you get showers and storms bringing heavy totals in there. So that's going to be continuing on Thursday, easing a little bit on Friday. But we also have showers and storms across uh, parts of uh, Victoria, the Mallee, the Wimmera, and extending into the pastoral districts. And then a band of rain behind it. That band of rain will then move over the southeast on Friday, intensifying as it does meet that northeasterly air mass, that humid air mass, with that southerly cold air mass coming up from the south there. The heaviest of the rain on Friday looking to be in northern parts of Victoria. However, Thunderstorms just ahead of the band of rain could also bring isolated, heavier totals of rainfall. Very difficult to predict those rainfall totals and storms. Easier to predict those totals in the band of rain, which is looking like well over a month's worth of rain falling in just 24 to 48 hours, particularly northeast, central Victoria, and southeast New South Wales, west of the Great Dividing Range over there. So what that means is it's over a month's worth of rain. It's going to be leading to flash flooding and river flooding. Tasmania also getting some pretty heavy rain on Friday, easing back on Saturday as the trough clears the coastline, but it's still lingering around. Take a look at that forecast over there. That's over 50 millimeters widespread on the ranges of northeast Victoria, southern New South Wales, and extending into the northern, uh, sorry, the central ranges. It's a lot of rainfall we're expecting here. Places uh, in the northeast catchments, the Minamita catchment, the Ovens and Kings catchment, these are very, very pl prone to river flooding in these setups, and I would expect at least minor flooding, potentially even moderate flooding in these areas. Ahead of that, showers, and storms, extending from the Gulf right across in the southeast. And you're noticing during this entire time, I haven't mentioned Western Australia because it's dry, there's high pressure, there's not a lot of rain happening over there until later in the week. Sunday, the trough, then pendulums into Queensland, and you can see the Darling Downs on track for some good rain on there. Hopefully we'll get that rain over there. Also the southeast getting cool showers in a southerly flow. And then on Monday, still that heavy rain right across the east. Uh, and so, yeah, we're in for a lot of rain over the next few days. Here's the eight-day forecast. Widespread totals over 100 millimeters for northeast Victoria, southeast New South Wales, and also very heavy totals in northeast uh, New South Wales, southeast Queensland, and that's with the trough. So this is all happening over the course of Sunday and into Wednesday, and right over here, that's really Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.